Daniel. OK, you've had your instructions in the dressing room. Remember, obey my commands at all time. Defend yourselves at all time. God bless. Touch them. Touch them. Round one. Dubois, the big puncher. Surely likely to start fast. Put a nice little left hooks here, though, from Gorman. Showing that hand speed. Like with every big puncher, you've got to make the guy feel your power early. That's got to be the tactic here for, for Dubois. Who's going to be physically the stronger? That's going to be a key. One of several. Foot speed, accuracy and composure on this big occasion. An electric atmosphere. Look at right hand for Dubois. A lovely little counter straight back there with a the fast little right hand off the ropes there from Gorman. Gorman sometimes looked indifferent when he's been the one having to force the pace. He's not going to have to go looking for Dubois. Lovely uppercut there from Gorman as well. It's a good jab there from Dubois then, and just taking a little step back as well. He's throwing that jab there, Dubai. And what's Gorman's doing? He's just slipping to the left, or to the right, I should say, sorry, on the outside of the jab, just so Gorman, uh, Dubai can get that right hand over the top. Gorman trying to show his physical strength in that exchange. Missed with the right hand, but a good jab there from Dubois. He needs a lot of them. His best work will come off that jab. That's a decent right hand as well from Dubois. Victor Lochran's going to have to be strict with this. That's good work there for Dubas. Yeah. Heads going in close. Oh, hello. Call to break was made and Gorman landing the left hand. He'll claim, of course, that he didn't hear. <laughs> Good lead again from Dubois. Yeah, and a little step back as well, because Gorman's been countering him for early in the round, and he's taking a little, little adjustment there from Dubois. Well, we're coming into the last few seconds of a relatively quiet opening round. Gorman had the better of the early exchanges. Dubois has just warmed to the task a little the further the round has progressed. Interesting, as it was always going to be. Ricky Hatton, always one of the great talkers of British boxing. Tight, tight opening round. Could make an argument either way, Barry. Dubois came on strong the further it went. Yeah, and I, and I just favoured that, that he was just a little bit more aggressive. That was all, I think, in the early part of the round. It looked like Gorman was countering really well. I just think, think Dubois made a little adjustment. Good jab there from Dubois, and a right hand. Oh, he's looking to unload here, Dubois. Gorman needs to keep his concentration. But to be fair to Gorman, he's calling him on, and even though he got caught with a couple of shots, I don't think anything troubled him as much. And he was firing back. But Dubai was the one who was landing on the target. Good jab deal there from Gorman. I'd like to see Gorman just get a little bit lower and then double jab coming forward. Just get underneath the jab there of Dubois. Amazing physique Dubois came in with Frank Bruno and a lot about Dubois reminiscent of the young Bruno. Right hand from Dubois, only a glancing blow on the bearded face of Gorman. Gorman so pale skinned, every punch which lands will just make a little bit of a mark on his head. There's another right hand from Dubois. Good shot from Dubois, but because he's not willing to, to step in behind it too much because he knows Gorman's going to counter. Gorman's used the ropes just to take the sting a lot of the shot. But still, 
Dubai, they're busier again in this round, though, ever so slightly. The jab has been the superior punch, that's been the principal difference between the two, I reckon, Barry. Yeah, and also, the, the, Gorman knows he doesn't, can't make any silly mistakes. Oh, good shot, good right hand there, and they're both swinging. And again, but a good right hand there from Gorman. Yeah, Dubois was caught coming back, but Dubois's the one on the front foot. Seven wins he's had inside two rounds, and we're into the last minute of this second round here. And there's a cut around the left eye of Nathan Gorman. He's been cut, presumably by a punch. There'll be work in that Gorman corner for that. It's around the eyebrow of the left eye. He's trying to fire Gorman when, when Dubath throws that right hand, but I think Jamie he needs Sheldon to fire is going to be doing the cuts jab. in the Gorman corner. This is a good round for Daniel Dubois. Gorman's going to get his jab in the play, really has. It's an old cliche, be first, and Daniel Dubois is definitely the man who is being first here. Got right hand over the top from Gorman, but Dubois rode it well, and that's a good round for Daniel Dubois. Lennox Lewis apparently has also been in touch giving his advice. Good start for Dubois then in this fight as we move into the third round. Well, it is. You know, the first round I think was up for grabs most definitely, but the second round was a good round there for Dubois. Oh, big time. right hand from Dubois, and he's down for the first time. It was a clubbing right hand around the temple, I think. And the blood is starting to flow again. And dangerous, anxious times for Nathan Gorman. Dubois now will move in looking to finish this. Another big right hand. Gorman fighting on instinct. He is trying to fight back against Dubois, but Dubois is relentless. Oh, not far with that left hook there. I just missed my inches with that left hook there, Gorman. Tyson Fury on his feet, urging Gorman forward. A risky business there by Gorman, but the fact that he fired back have just slowed down Dubois' attack. Oh, good right hand there for Dubois. Puts Gorman again there. Still got some fight in him here, Nathan Gorman. He is not finished yet. The knockdown for Dubois. But Gorman has come back bravely. That body shot he throws at Richie Wood that was talking about just before the fight. Here comes Dubois again. Gorman managing to parry those. I think the left hook just got wrong to Gardo there, John, I think, for Dubois. Gorman showing some grit here, mind. I just think that Gorman hasn't thrown the jab. I think that, that there, that's better for him just to. Stop Dubois walking right up to him. Dubois put a lot into this round. Decent left hand from Dubois. Gorman being beaten to the punch by that jab of Dubois. Yeah, he's, but he's not using his own. And... But he did slip that shot, to be fair there, Gorman. But you got to get lower, and you got to double that jab. He's trying to get in there and bully Dubois. Using that weight advantage that he's got, and fair play to Nathan Gorman in a lot of trouble early in that third round. The knockdown was there, but he survived and seen it through to the bell to end the third. Big round again, though, for Dubois. How's your head? Yeah, mate. It's clear. Yeah. Tell me the truth. It's clear. Listen. Here's where the knockdown came, Barry. 
And, and, oh, they, just his legs just portrayed him a little bit. I don't think he was that seriously hurt. I think his legs went a little bit wobbly. And because he's got those gloves up around the eyes, he can't see the punch coming beyond, beyond the glove. That's the problem. It's a heavy shot, though, isn't it? He's really loading up there, Dubois. And the fact that the Gorman's not using that jab, I've established a jab. Kind of caught him on the top of the head there. Yeah, yeah, but there was a few. There was a, a two or three shots there landing. But in fact, he's, he's covering up really tight there, Gorman, but because he, he's covering the eyes, he have not got no peripheral Gorman vision. He can't see those punches coming outside the glove. Second out, round four. We move into the fourth. A dominant performance from Daniel Dubois so far. Gorman bravely trying to rally in that third round. Fast start again from Dubois here in the fourth. Just stepped up a little bit too close there, Dubois. He needs just to keep maintaining a little bit more distance. Should, he should jab to the chest now, Dubai, then throw that right hand over the top. Because Gorman just, every, every now and again, he just rides the punch, just takes a little bit of the sting out of the shot. But if he has to drop his hands, maybe, or just take it to the chest, stops the movement. Gets a clear line there with that right hand. Solid body shots there from Dubois. But if Gorman can slip inside the shot, rather than try and lean back out of it, if he can just try and slip, have the confidence just there to come over his shoulder, then he's right where he wants to be. He's inside there for that uppercut, the hook. See, he's leaning back, trying to throw that long left hook, but he's obviously he's the short, the guy with the, with, the, with the shorter reach, and he's not quite hitting the target like he normally would. But if he, if he slips inside, dips that right shoulder forward, well, there's the shock of the cuts, which was undoubtedly a contributory factor to the knockdown. Gorman needs some big success to get back into this fight. That's exactly it. A bit of just, that just changes mental outlook a bit, a bit more positive then with his approach. No, he's expect. He looks like he's expecting something big, doesn't it, all the time? Just like lo just lost a little bit of confidence. Maybe hoping that Dubois will be a storm which will blow out, and if he sees it through, but it doesn't really look that way right now. That's uppercut. good. Yeah, good. Yeah. Two quality uppercuts off the ropes from Gorman. See a bit of confidence, any south throw in the jab, and that's what has been missing from him. Frank Warren, of good course, jab. insistent that Dubois, not only a brilliant British prospect and indeed Gorman. But he's saying they're two of the brightest prospects in the world. At the moment, it's Dubois who's bossing it. Round so the five. fifth round coming up. And Dubois on Barry's card has a significant advantage. He the does. knockdown in that third round. Except for the first round, which was, up, was really up for grabs. I think the, the I think the last three rounds have been quite easy to score. Even though we could see on the, on the screen, you could see the corner of Dubois. Or could have took there from Gorman. I was, I was looking at Ricky Hatton in the corner. He was saying what we were saying about slipping inside the jab. He was asking Gorman to slip inside the jab. Be a little bit more confident with your movement. Well. When he leans back, oh, good right hand there from Dubois. And he's in trouble again here, Gorman. Staggered and now wanting to cover up. Trying to unleash some power shots of his own, but Dubois getting the better of the exchanges. He hurt Gorman a little bit there, but what is with Gorman leaning back and swinging with that left hook? He gets caught there again, see? He's right on the end of the shot. And the problem we got with that, that probably works for him all the time against other, other opponents. So it's almost like a habit or thing. It's a habit he has. 
Does it every time, leans back, but no, it's not working tonight, so we've got to slip inside. Be confident to sit in that pocket. Nathan Gorman saying that in all the rounds they sparred as amateurs with the GB oh. squad, he bossed the lot of them. Well, he's not bossing this. Good body shot there from Dubois. And Gorman trying to fight back. He needs a big shot from somewhere, Gorman. Takes a good shot, my Gorman, gotta be honest. Oh, hello. Can't do that. People have said that Nathan Gorman is too nice to be a top-class boxer. Well, he doesn't want to be nice now. What he's not doing, he's not using the jab. He got faster feet, so even though the other guy got a longer reach, you use that footwork to get in and out with that left hand. Oh. Good left hook from Dubai, but nice little sneaky right uppercut then from Gorman. Dubois was told by Martin Bowers between rounds, just stick to your boxing, stop trying to hurt him, just jab your way in and just box. Beat him up, beat him up he said. Yeah. Well, yeah, but do yeah. it through yeah, boxing, yeah, that's the point. Oh, oh hello. Well, he certainly has done now. And that could be the end. Gorman is bravely trying to get to his feet. And he's out. He's been counted out. He thought he'd got up in time, but he hasn't. And the champion is Daniel Dubois. The argument is ended. And the young lion, who has proved superb on the night, is Daniel Dubois. Well, your winner by way of count out. And now the British heavyweight champion, Triple D, Daniel Dynamite. To war!